Hello and welcome back to Vambrace. The game I was thinking about last time is uh, Faster Than Light. And uh, maybe that's what we're dealing with here. Who knows? All I know is that it's pretty damn hard right now. And uh, we can't be able to... Well, it seems like we can't save progress uh, easily. Incoming! We get attacked again. Very tricky. Oh crap, this is like a proper assassin guy. Green Flame Scout. Can we just one shot him? Are well, we gonna act before him? So, I guess we're not gonna use a special ability here. Just, just use whatever we got. Maybe we're not gonna use his uh, special ability all the time. Because we don't want him to get hit specifically. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so we can already... We can skip two of these. Actually, wow. Uh, good question, how are we gonna go about this? The easiest one is... Well, we can, we can go this way. Yeah, we can just... Yeah, we can just, just go that way. Love the posters, though. Broke out! Oh. Another rest location. I guess we don't want to go back. We're gonna rest. And Bora Kang is gonna be the one who's gonna... Uh, watch over us. Oh, sleep us... Uh, I mean, uh, sing us some uh, lovely songs, Bora. Alright, the health went up for everybody. I don't know if we need to sing another song, but I don't think this is kind of reasonable at this point. Yeah, we needed it. Let's, let's go. Hopefully, uh, we're not gonna run out, run out of uh, whatever this is, the Geistrom meter. Okay, keep going. I do like the style of this place. Oh, <laughs> merchant! Yes! So this merchant clearly indicates, at least to me, like, it seems like that's that the case that, you know, we, we are meant to keep going. Um, I can focus on selling, and I got stuff that just, I'm not sure what to do with. Awareness, health max, and combat minus one. That seems horrendous. Combat minus one, again, horrendous. Fur vest, uh, vigor, vigor max, and health max. Health max four? Uh, that seems okay. Although, we won't be able to use a, a more useful. Oh, vigor four, dwarven brew. Okay. Kind of reasonable. It seems this may be a little bit better. For 30 more, we get two more. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is. And this, uh, for 25 more, you get three more. As long as you're willing to pay the big bucks. You get a lot more for your money. Not not by a like a crazy amount, but a little bit. Uh, but let's just sell stuff first. I'm not even gonna check because I don't know what to do with these things. We just want to make some money out of it. Yeah. Do I want to... Well, buying the fur vest. This could help us long term. But this is going to help us short term. I guess this is what we should prioritize. 
instead of just trying to be greedy, uh, we can just buy some herbal tinctures, which is gonna help a lot. Yeah. How many I can buy? Let's say we're gonna buy four. If I turn it around, I got a bunch of herbal tinctures. It seems like like a crazy investment, but like we basically can like replenish one character back to full health twice. Which could really help us on this seemingly long journey. Oh, that was okay. That's that's why, yeah. She also plays a key role here because she affects the price we get for the junk we sell. So she affects how much health we gain, and uh, Bora Kings is just a good addition to the team, I believe. Oh crap, we went the wrong way. I don't want to turn in. Oh, I guess we're just gonna keep going. Although... Oh, we can't open it. So, having a character that can open these things would be pretty helpful. Oh, we had some fancy pillow. Maybe. Actually, uh, Overwatch plays another role. Or, I'm not sure. I think Overwatch, at least that was kind of what I remember, that Overwatch helps us avoid encounters as well. But maybe that only meant uh, encounters while camping. Mysterious girl. You see a ghost girl on your path watching you intently. As you pass by, she calls out, Hey you! After, you, after approaching, she says, I want to know what kind of person you are, so let's play a game. Chocolate or candy? Um, Lionel, you play if you like playing. Um, I like some candy, girl. No, the answer is chocolate. I win. Her s her sm sly smile remains as. As she slowly lifts her hand and opens it. The penalty is your money. Only Hallium, please. Before you have a chance to say anything, she vanishes in a wisp of smoke. You feel a small hand in your pocket before she reappears holding your money. Well, fine. Go to Hallium. I can live without that. I guess we're just learning. Uh, what these uh, encounters do. I suppose a lot of them will be repeating. My aim is true! Okay, more guys. We got more spectral dwarves. Police! One of them is gonna come soon. I can just blow it up. Six damage we got. Let's do it. Okay, this is qu quite handy because we're not only dealing 6 damage, but preventing the 3 damage they they would have dealt. Oh, that's a miss. Excellent. Uh, we cannot kill this guy, right? But we're still gonna go for the special attack. Oh, punching the dwarf. Bad move. Uh, we can hit the 4. Oh, we can't can do the special attack. Four, two. Well, finishing off the noble would be pretty sweet. Finishing off the police would be pretty sweet too. Ultimately, the police is gonna come earlier. Let's do that. We can't kill the uh, the four. Be another noble in the back. A little punch. I bring it on. This is gonna come first, but we can do some real damage in the back. And anyone can kill the guy in the front. Um, 
Can I just hit the guy in the front? Maybe we miss. We just want to make sure that he dies for sure. I'm finishing blow right here. Okay. Kind of an easy fight. So as long as we don't get stupid and let this meter run run too high. Which is kind of exactly what we're doing right now. Then we're going to be fine. Oh fuck, we're going the wrong way. This the way? Oh no, this is terrible. Do I need to run away now? So we take period damage all the time now. And we're gonna get attacked by super ghosts. That would my reason well, reason I kinda died. Enforcer spook is what we need to take out most of all. Critical damage. Nice. Uh, I guess I need to run away. So I can try to mitigate the damage from the first two. And try to control the last one. Yeah, critical damage is not what I like to see there. We can finish off the Enforcer Spook here. My greatest concern here is that... Okay, we can win this fight. Maybe we can win the next fight. But can I really keep winning these fights? This is gonna be a very costly mistake of going into the wrong door. Pick up the spook. Because that is the one that deals a lot of damage. Yeah, just take up the spook if you can. Kinda handy. And just damage any of them. But we gotta fight these guys non-stop now. And seems like uh, our new recruit, Lionel, is gonna bite it again. Now yeah, we gotta do the special attack. If I try to run away... Um, we just gotta go back in town and start all over again. I guess I still don't have a perk point. I'm a little bit lost now. So, where do we need to go? Why, how did I get so turned around? Do I go into that? That's definitely not what we really need to be. Oh, if I need to... If I get attacked again for retracing my steps, I'm gonna be so mad. Maybe we can do this because we have some... Well, we can use the healing. No, not here. Okay. So if we survive this and two more... We're good. We're in the clear. But how are we gonna do that? And will, will we get attacked every time? I think that's just gonna happen. And it's gonna be the same fight.
There's no finishing blow on these guys. 3M4 is gonna come soon. Oh, X can only target the guys in the front. Uh, I guess I'm gonna hit the spook then. It's not great. But at least we can prevent some damage. I'm kinda happy that they're not hitting my tank. Uh, I take it back. I guess he's gonna get killed. 1 and 2 is gonna attack pretty soon, so I think we're just gonna kill 2. Oh, critical! You go down now! I just don't see a, a possibility that Lionel is gonna live. Tell the tale. He's just not gonna ha do that. We can do either 3 damage or 6 damage. And this should be enough to finish off the 3, combined with 3 damage, as long as that's not a miss. I'm, I'm not holding back whatsoever, we just need to go all in. Terrible. One more hit. So this guy's gonna die for sure. Unless we run away, he's gonna die for sure. And after that, I need to go back. Yeah, he's just dead now. I can win this this fight, but that's not saying a lot. And it's just gotta be more dead people. The more I keep going. It's actually the same mistake that I did last time. We do two damage, but we're actually not completely uh, losing here because we get some stuff, then we have to run back. So it's not completely lost progress. In a way, it's not. We just need to. Yeah. Just died. But I think we need to run away. There's no way around it. We need to run back to town. Right? E. Do you still wish to retreat? I think we gotta do it. Yes! Hmm. No good. <gasps> okay. Um I well as long as I don't fuck it up. And I fucked it up twice now. I don't fuck it up by uh taking too much time. I think we should be good. We just need some other guy. High merchantry and awareness. Great at leading. Palestine. Shadow Mancer. Alandra. Casalena. So let's hire this. Then start hiring guys. We already tried out a uh, Shadow Mancer, didn't we? No, no, no. High awareness again. Looter. Oh, we actually have more options now. High awareness, powerful flourish, high merchantry and overwatch, great at haggling. Okay. Our caster. So, we are making progress, but in a very weird way. Because we keep our stuff that we get. Yes, we keep our stuff, but we still have to run away. In a way, it's not really retreat. It's like a very tactical retreat. Okay, let's hire Alandra. 
I guess we need that companion. I'm just tr checking her out. Two, one, four, three, three. This is two, two, four, two, four. So she is better at camping. What's this? Yeah, that's one extra health. Health max. Bopped. So her health is lower. Bora Kang's health is lower. Her ability... Her awareness is really low. Especially with this uh, uh, modification. But her health is higher. And she is a melee character for some reason. Interesting. Yeah, her stats are just better. Two target allies receive barrier status. Any damage received is reduced by three for two turns. The problem with that ability is that, you know, you give that to allies, sure. Also, her, her initiative is a lot higher. Very interesting. But she needs to be in the uh, front row. Very interesting. I would like to actually see a breakdown of all these uh, characters available in the game. I'm not sure this is good because this is a very unreliable ability because you put it into ally put it onto allies, sure. But they would need to get hit, right? No, no. Actually, she takes three less damage. For two turns. This is really good. So she's like a tank. It's kind of like a different from the other... Uh, other... <laughs> guy that actually is completely useless. Other than for fighting. She is also good at trading. As high awareness. So we don't really need an awareness person. Necessarily. And she can defend, she can put protect on two allies. She comes early, put protect on two allies. When they take damage, she takes damage instead. But instead, she also takes three less damage every turn, every time she takes damage and for two turns. Although her ability, she's more protector. Still, very impressive. I'm very impressed. Her only problem is that she has completely abysmal, uh, or not really abysmal, but not incredibly impressive, uh, impressive uh, damage. But I suppose there's not much you can hope for here. Still, she is excellent, and she could be an excellent replacement for a high awareness. Or we can just like really, yeah. We can use her instead of uh, Bora Kang and Luther if we wanted to go that way. And we can still have someone who is uh, good with uh, uh, I don't know, just getting stuff. <laughs> also, we need someone who deals damage. Anyway guys, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.